Days after Singapore registered MV Express Pearl caught fire off Sri Lankan coast and the joint efforts of India and Sri Lankan navies extinguished the fire, experts have called it the biggest man-made disaster of Sri Lanka ever. The ship has now sunk and there are fears of huge amounts of oil and toxic material getting released into the sea. Although the government has assured no leakage, the experts warn of the disaster affecting the country as far as India and Indonesia are concerned. A coastal oceanography professor said a sunken cargo ship, MV Express Pearl of the west coast of Sri Lanka, marked the country's worst man-made environmental disaster. The university's modelling indicated the plastic pellets from the ship, the raw material for shopping bags, would travel as far as Indonesia, India and Somalia. It, from an environmental point of view, it is the, the worst environmental disaster man-made or what we call anthropogenic. Uh, yes, we can, um, you know, you, we can talk about the, the tsunami of 2004. Uh, but that's a natural disaster. From a man-made disaster, this is the worst to hit Sri Lanka. Billions of plastic pellets have already fouled surrounding beaches and fishing grounds, forcing the government to take actions that could affect livelihood of thousands. The ship was carrying 1,486 containers, including 25 tons of nitric acid, along with other chemicals and cosmetics when a fire erupted on board after an explosion on May 20. Flaming containers filled with chemicals tumbled into the sea from the ship's deck as emergency crews sought to contain the blaze over the ensuing two weeks. Uh, three containers we know fell into the ocean, which yeah. contain what we call noodles, which are small plastic pellets, which um, there were 78 thousand kilograms of these noodles, which equivalent to about three billion particles. Okay. Um, and, and they were packed in a container, but also contained within 25 kilogram bags. And you may have seen images uh, that they are collecting a lot of that in terms of into the be in the beaches, a uh, whole kilogram bags, etc. So we don't know exactly how much of those noodles have been released into the ocean. Although ship's operators said in a statement that there were still no signs of a fuel oil spill and that much of the toxic cargo had been incinerated in the fire, the photos from the country's coast guard showed a layer of green film blanketing the ocean surrounding the vessel. The government of Sri Lanka is bracing for the possibility of an oil spill now. Never than at a Sampur name Modu Patule Tienokila Visasagarno, Eka Pudgalikoma, a diverse la, Bahala, Balandone, Ekatama, Ilanga, Kino Criavali. It was a thing in Hata Yam Criavalia Siduinovanang, Ekriavalia Sandaha, me Neve, Tel Cocheratino, Tel Tieno, Ned. Meanwhile, the president of Sri Lankan Fisheries Society said he was worried that a ship sinking off Sri Lanka's west coast would be a death blow to the industry. Tons of plastic pellets have swamped the island's coastline and rich fishing grounds, creating one of the biggest environmental crises in decades. The government has banned fishing along an 80-kilometer stretch of coastline, affecting 5,600 fishing boats, while hundreds of soldiers have been deployed to clean the beach. The ship had begun to sink early on Wednesday. A salvage crew tried to tow the vessel to deeper water away from the coast, 
but the attempt was abandoned after the rear of the ship touched the seabed.